Hi Aries, welcome to your October no contact love tower reading. So Aries, we're looking at your no contact situation or communication situation, whoever you're thinking of, whoever's on your mind. We're going to get a little feel for the situation, what caused it. How do they feel about that? How do they feel about you? What are they doing right now that we need to be aware of? And will things change? All right, Aries. We have the sacred, I think it's the, the sacred traveler oracle. We've got some opening messages with this, and then we'll jump into your reading. All right. Okay. What happened here? So, well, that's too many. Welcome in, Aries. Welcome in, Aries. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in, welcome in, and thank you. This is Mary, and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. All right, Aries, October No Contact Love Tower reading. Let's see what we have for you. We're going to lay these out, see what's going on, and then we'll jump into your reading. Let's see. We have Grounding, Go Deep, Explore Your Roots, Joy and Delight, Open Your Heart to Joy, Wise Leader, You Are a Beacon for Others, and fellow travelers, support is all around you. I'm feeling like this person that you're connecting to, um, you do bring a lot of joy and delight into their life. Um, and in the connection, um, they could be a leader of some sort. And maybe they travel a lot or they love to travel for some reason. But I feel like this, may be a, this might be a person that has a hard time settling down or grounding down their energy. Um, because maybe they just you know, kind of like a free spirit and they like to just do whatever on a whim. Um, so we'll see here. I mean, they could have, they could be a business, business owner, if I could speak, business owner, entrepreneur, leader in some sort of way um, as well. But I really think this person has a hard time um, staying in one spot. So whatever that means, whether it's just traveling in general or following their ambitions and goals, desires, whatever that may be. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if joy and delight and the connection with you can kind of win their heart for them to settle down, if that's something that you're wanting. So we'll see, like, if we can uh, get a feel for what maybe caused the no-contact situation, like I said, and then we'll look at how they feel about it, how they feel about you, what are they doing right now that you need to be aware of, and will things change? All right. Aries. So we have the Spellcaster tarot deck right here. And at the end, we have the, I think it's the Archangel Guidance. We'll pull some of those at the end as well. All right, Aries. Let's see. We have no contact. Love tarot reading. What do we need to know? So let's take a look. Get a little feel for the situation. Magician. Four of Pentacles. Nine of Cups in Reverse, Knight of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, and yeah, the Hierophant in Reverse. I feel like this person is a little unpredictable um, with this Knight of Swords energy. Sorry, i got to fix my chair. Because um, the Knight of Swords can be a little chaotic out of the blue. Um, fast moving kind of energy and the nine of cups reverse definitely is not quite a happy energy four pentacles holding back here but that's also about stability and foundation wheel of fortune definitely is about things moving forward but the hard front reverse could be lack of commi committing or commitment so I mean not saying that they were seeing other people maybe they were solely um, exclusive to you but also they had a hard time giving more time and energy into like committing more time and energy into the relationship so like i said this knight of swords with the wheel of fortune i mean that's all about moving forward so this person is very very i feel like unpredictable like on a whim like okay this is what i'm doing i'm gonna go do this do that you know always on the go whether it's work career other things at play definitely not a happy energy here with the nine of cups reversed um so I feel like there could have been some like magician, like how is this going to manifest? What does this man what does this new beginning look like? What what do we look like? What does this look like? I kind of see someone saying, What does this look like to you? I mean, this is not just 
you know, I'm here, and when you have time and that's it, you know, this is a relationship and there needs to be more balance in between whatever you're doing outside of the relationship in the relationship. Well, okay, so let's see, we have Gemini, Virgo, Aquarius, Sag, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Taurus. All right. Okay, I'm not getting a feeling, because we do have the Nine of Cups here. Upright or reversed, it doesn't matter. It, it kind of gives me a single energy, because that person is alone on that card, usually fulfilling their own wishes, you know, uh, indulging in that kind of energy. So I don't think this is about, like, other people at play. I mean, but um, I'm just feeling that this person isn't making the relationship a priority. You know, they're making other, you know, they're just on the go unpredictable and they don't make the relationship with you the number one priority there's a lack of commitment in giving the relationship the proper time and energy love and affection that should be given and i think you got tired of it aries and maybe you put your foot down and said look for pentacles you know it's time to protect i want to protect this and i want stability foundation here not this chaotic energy if that if that makes any sense I mean, they could have a lot going on in their life, too. But let's see. So let's see how they're feeling. Let's see how they're feeling. I mean, you could still be talking to this person, but maybe not as much. Or maybe there's just not really talking about what's really important that needs to be talked about. But let's see here, Aries, like how they're feeling about this whole situation. Ace of Swords. You know, I feel like you spoke some truths here. And maybe it pushed them away a little bit here with the Six of Swords. Page of Cups. So I feel like they need... Oh, the Star. I feel like they need to apologize. Like they should apologize. Hermit, but they kind of retract in their energy here. Yeah, I keep getting single energy all over this. King of Swords. I feel like here, Aries, that you spoke your truth and they do realize that. They do see the truth. And they realize that too, but they're still kind of... they were, It's like they don't want to admit everything you said is right um because the ace of swords is about clarity truth as the king of swords but we have that retraction of energy with the hermit so that's definitely the separation but they definitely see you know i mean stars divinely guided energy things meant to be healing balance wish dream come true so they do see you as that energy i mean the hermit goes deep within and they know they know you're their wish fulfillment that they should apologize or the need to apologize but i think it, they kind of pushed back maybe out of ego or whatever with this i kind of feel that with the six of swords the ace of swords at is you know in the king of swords speaking that truth which pushed them back but they know they know they're right so they're going to do anything about it we're going to see but we do have here pisces aquarius virgo uh gemini Hmm. Even if it's apology, or it could be that um, there are even even hasn't been any words of I love you yet. Um, that could be the Page of Cups. And they know they need to make some sort of sincere, romantic uh, gesture, apology or something like that kind of mend this but they're kind of being stubborn there with that king of swords up so i don't know if this person has a stubborn kind of personality um i i kind of feel with the fire here on the ace of swords you spit out your truths and that kind of maybe upset them i would say enraged them but that sounds a little drastic and push them back but now they're like okay yeah you know no they are right i need to bring more balance need to heal this need to come in and apologize you know have some truthful conversation but they're still withdrawn here with the hermit. So I'm getting a little bit of stubborn energy here. All right, so let's see, Aries, how they're feeling about you. How are they feeling about Aries? How are they feeling about Aries? Let's see. How are they feeling about Aries at this time? How are they feeling about Aries at this time? Ace of Pentacles. The 
the Eight of Cups reverse. Yeah, they do want to return. Five of Wands. But they know there's some conflict here or there will be more conflict. Sun, that it's not a happy energy surrounding this. Knight of Pentacles. They know they're dragging their feet here. And, you know, by staying stuck in their head or just being stubborn or stuck. Um, but they definitely know they need to um, return with a solid offer to be more stable, grounded, have more time, energy, more balanced. Um, definitely here. <sighs> yeah, so how they feel about you? I mean, they do want that solid new beginning here. And they do want to come back, Eight of Cups reversed, but I don't think they like the fact that there's going to be, you know, a little more conflict here. I mean, due to the unhappiness, can we, you know, fixing the energy? And they know by slow walking this, it's not really helping anything. I definitely know that too. Or they know that. Uh, but there's that stuck energy. You definitely make them happy. I mean, the sun is the happiest card in the deck, whether it's reversed or not. It's just the situation itself they know has brought some unhappiness to a very happy connection that makes them happy. But they know they need to make you the number one priority, not, you know, wherever you fall on the list. So let's see here. We have uh, Leo, Taurus, Pisces. All right. So let's see what they're doing right now. Aries, what are they doing right now? For Aries, what are they doing right now that we need to be aware of? All right, let's see. Aries, what are they doing right now that you need to be aware of? What are they doing right now that you need to be aware of? Let's see. Seven of Cups. Hmm. Confusion, illusion. Two of Wands. Four of Cups. Well, we see them thinking about this. Strength. Oh, that's overcoming. I like that. Overcoming their ego. Three of Cups to reunite. Have an exciting new beginning here. So it looks like they're going to overcome their ego. They're definitely thinking a lot about this with the Four of Cups. Two of Wands looks like, you know, they're a little stuck about uh, choosing that direction. The Ace of Wands is right here. Is that they will choose. You know, a little confusion, illusion, like how can I um, bring more balance into my life? How can I alleviate some of these things that are taking my time? So making the right choices to do that with the Seven of Cups. So I think they're in that process right now as well. I mean, the cross, the cho uh, crossroads is right here. The choice point, crossroads, make that decision. A lot of thinking about this and strength is overcoming. It's a strong connection that not, cannot be denied. Soul contracts, past lives. Strong, courageous, and brave. To choose to reunite, to come back in here and have this exciting new beginning. So whether or not you want this Aries, that's kind of what I'd see. But we do have Leo showing up. So let's see how things will change. So we see what they're doing right now is overcoming their ego, overcoming their um, whatever is going on for them. And planning how they're going to come in here to reunite and what their plans are to make more time for this connection moving forward. All right, Aries. So let's see um, how things will change. How things will change. But if it does resonate or you do enjoy this, please do like, comment. All the great things would be greatly, greatly appreciated. So we'll do one more row of clarifiers and then we'll get into the uh, Archangel Guidance Oracle deck. All right. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so how will things change here for Aries? No contact. Let's see. Oh, King of Pentacles. I like that. The lovers. Oh, my goodness. Judgment. There's a final decision. Queen of Swords, which is a match to the king up there. Death. So that's transformation. Ten of Wands. Yeah, there was a lot weighing this. This person had a lot going on. A lot they were carrying that they don't they didn't need to carry. And I think them realizing that, you know, trying to do everything they thought they had to do and try to juggle the relationship on top of it is like, yeah, I can't do this all I can't do this anymore. I can't carry all this. It's just too much. 
Um, yeah, Ten of Wands. So there's the ending of that. And death is the ending of the way it was and a transformation into the new. But you do have the Ace of Wands up there. Queen of Swords, the King of Swords. A lot of communication, conversations. And the Judgment card definitely is Life Review, Relationship Review. It's definitely answering the call. Call of the Universe. Soul Contracts, Past Life, Things Meant to Be. Wake Up Call. So there you go. Making the final decision for the connection here with the Lovers. There's no doubting in the big decision as well. And the King of Pentacles definitely is more stable, grounded, secure, loyal. I mean, this could even be about commitment or marriage. Starting with that Ace of Pentacles right up there with that King of Pentacles. If that's what you want, Aries. So I see someone being more stable and grounded in the relationship and releasing things that are tying them up and taking time and energy away from you. So we have Virgo, Gemini, Scorpio, Libra, Scorpio. <laughs> All right, let's do more clarifiers here. Seven of Wands in reverse, being more open and vulnerable, removing blockages. Yeah, two of Pentacles, a lot up in the air, a lot of juggling things around. Justice, so doing the right thing. Again, universal law and order, things meant to be. Truth, clarity, justice, balance, getting what we deserve. Page of Pentacles in reverse. So they may have not come in with that offer before or yet, but the King of Cups is saying, yeah, there's a lot of love here that maybe they were kind of holding back a little bit. But there's no denying the chemistry between you with the uh, Queen of Wands. And that's you, Aries. That's you. So Qu King of Cups on the um, King of Cups on the Queen of Wands is saying, yeah, they have a lot of love for Aries, a lot of passion too, attraction, chemistry, world. There could have been something about traveling. But also new cycles, a new cycle about to happen here. Death, uh, devil in reverse, so over overcoming these energies that are affecting this in a good way. And maybe you were giving up hope here, you know, Empress reversed, that they weren't seeing you with the valued worth that you wanted you you wanted them to see you in. Um, but to a sort, yeah, big decisions needing to be made. And then here comes some communication good news, excitement, no more feeling neglected, um, lonely kind of energy. And then we do have success and victory with the six of wands. So Aries, I think things are going to change here. So we do have Capricorn here. So like I said, it all depends what you want. But if you're watching this, obviously you're interested probably. But Aries, let's see what the Archangel guidance has to say for you. What do you need to know about this? And also, um, everything you do need to know is down below, Aries. My website and lots in the description box that you can check out. All right, Aries. What is the Archangel Guidance for Aries? Patience. Your dreams are becoming are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. So, I think you've been very patient with this person. Um, that's kind of like the temperance energy moon cycle so yeah i felt something here about new cycle starting notice how the moon affects your energy and the manifestations and capitalize capitalize upon these cycles so um let's see the full moon was on the 17th so i'm not sure when the next new moon is probably in another week or two but let's see. So the, and the moon can be about fear, intuition. So you are safe. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and home. And Archangel Michael is about communication and protection. And we have here spiritual understanding. I am bringing you historic information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truth. So many of you many may believe you have a spiritual connection with this person. It's saying it's safe, it's protected, there's a new cycle coming. Have patience. You've been patient. I think your patience is running out. Um, but I think things are about to change and we have outdoors. Get outside, get some fresh air, connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. So some of you maybe, you know, need to get outside little bit more and beneath that we do have victory so i think things are going to be okay you know if that's what you want aries get outdoors you know get some fresh air ground yourself that could be the grounding too 
but I think this person definitely is going to make some changes for you in the connection, in the relationship. But anyway, that's what I have for you, Aries. So I do hope that helped that resonate. And again, everything you do need to know is down below. I am wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.